A bitmap index is designed to solve a completely different type of problem, and for that reason works very differently than a standard B-tree index. A bitmap index is designed for situations where you have low cardinality columns, that is, columns with just a few distinct values. Think of columns such as gender or marital status. We may have a value that defines the region that a customer is located in. Finally, consider the case where we have a column that maps to a predetermined set of bins. An example of this is age, where we might convert ages into a bin that keeps track of who's between 18 and 34, 35 to 49, and so on. All of these are situations that a standard B-tree index will not work very well in because of the low number of distinct values, but this is exactly the situation a bitmap index was designed for. In a bitmap index, what Oracle is going to do is to construct a two-dimensional array for the data being indexed. As it is shown here, there will be a row in the array for each row in the table. And then, for each distinct value contained in the column that we are indexing, Oracle will create a column in the array. From here, what happens is Oracle simply marks a 1 or a 0 in the array element based on whether or not the condition is true for this row. So as we see here, student number 1001 is a female, so the column labeled female in the bitmap index is marked as true or 1 while the column male is marked as 0. Conversely, we see that for student ID 1003, who is a male, then the female column is marked as 0, meaning false, and the male column is marked as true. So what we have in our bitmap index is really just a two-dimensional array of bits. And other than the simplicity of this structure, there are a couple of advantages to this. First of all, this structure is very space efficient on its own. And secondly, Bit arrays like this can be highly compressed, making the structure even more space efficient. Consequently, bitmap indexes don't take up much space on disk, and so they can be read very quickly by Oracle. What if the column that we are indexing in our bitmap index has more than two distinct values? That's okay. What we're going to do is that we're just going to get more columns in our bitmap array. So as you see here, we've probably done some binning on ages to convert them into age ranges and we have four different age range values in our table. These then translate into four distinct columns in our bitmap index. And so if we have a relatively low number of distinct values, and consequently a low number of columns in our bitmap index, we're going to retain the advantages of the bitmap index in terms of being space efficient for storage and reading the index off of disk. Even if we have 50 or 100 or even a few hundred distinct values, this is going to be okay. But if we have a high number of distinct values, several thousand or tens of thousands, then we'll have to have the same number of columns in our bitmap index, and those advantages go away. This is one of the deciding factors in choosing between a standard B-tree index and a bitmap index. And so if you have a lot of unique values, then a B-tree index is a better choice. But for low cardinality columns, columns that have just a few distinct values, a bitmap index is a better choice. The real power of bitmap indexes comes when we can join several bitmap indexes together. Conducting bitwise logical operations between different bit arrays is very efficient. So while none of our columns individually has a lot of uniqueness, by having a bitmap index on each column and then conducting a logical AND operation, we can very easily answer questions like finding all the females who are married and in the age range of 35 to 49, which is a typical demographic question that one might want to ask. And again, this is where bitmap indexes really shine. A standard B-tree index just isn't a very good fit for this problem. To get enough uniqueness, we'd have to include all of the columns in the B-tree index. But this index then would be targeted at just this one individual query. If we decided that we wanted to use some different demographic information, let's say replacing the gender column with a column that reflected the highest level of education that this person has completed, then the B-tree index would not work at all. But by using a bitmap index, it is possible and desirable to have many of these such indexes across the various columns, so we can easily perform these bitwise logical operations between the different bit arrays, and this is going to work very quickly and work very well. If on the last slide you are thinking that bitmap indexes are designed for data warehousing environments, you are correct. It is a data warehouse environment that we often want to conduct these types of queries where we're aggregating data together and often we're trying to drill down on data by using a combination of these low cardinality columns. So bitmap indexes help us solve that problem and they do it very efficiently. However, 
While bitmap indexes work well for a data warehouse, they should never be used in an OLTP database. Anytime you perform any sort of DML against the column that the bitmap index is over, the process Oracle has to undergo to update the bitmap index is very expensive and very slow. So bitmap indexes are not appropriate to use in a database that does any sort of transactional processing, which means pretty much any database used for a line of business application. In a data warehouse environment, where you're batch loading the data once a night through some sort of ETL process, you will be fine. But if you try to use a bitmap index in a transactional database with any amount of inserts, updates, or deletes, you will quickly find yourself in a deadlock scenario. So don't use bitmap indexes in your transactional databases, but reserve them for use in your data warehouse applications where they're really intended to be used. Finally, you should know that bitmap indexes are only available in Oracle Enterprise Edition and not Standard Edition. You can also use them in Oracle Personal Edition, but this of course is more for just trying things out, not for running a production application. So if you do have an application for bitmap indexes, make sure that you're running the right edition of Oracle. The rest of this module is really going to focus on standard B-tree indexes because they are more common and that is what you'll be using in a typical database that would form the back end for any business application that you might be developing. It is important, however, to know what a bitmap index is so that if you encounter one, you'll know when it is appropriate to consider using one and when you're better off on choosing a B-tree index.